So I'm going to start by showing you the assembly of the first version of Fountain that I made. And I'll come back to you and show you what happened and how I'm going to make the second one differently. So I wanted to do a quick analysis of version 1 fountain, what worked, what didn't. This was just a prototype. Right off the bat you can see that when it was drying the rim cracked on the bowl. I knew that it happened and I knew that I wasn't going to fix it. Maybe glaze was going to fill it but you would see it. But I wanted to see it through. Uh, this looks terrible. Even as I installed it, I realized, oh my gosh, I don't. And it means with the pump in the bowl that you're going to have to have the power cord go over the edge as well. There's no way you're going to be able to hide that. I did put a pump in. A rubber hose fit nicely into this. It did work. One of the other problems I saw right away was this rim does not stick out far enough. So it would kind of dribble down its chin and over time you'd have a puddle sitting around the fountain. So I didn't like that. And this glazing at the last minute, eh, I don't care for how it crawled here, but I don't like how it put its collar down onto this piece. Kind of occurred to me after the fact that I wanted this bottle really to look separate from, from this piece. So to solve these problems, I'm going to make my next one with this being a reservoir and the bottle being removed or rather remove a bowl so that you can have the power cord go in the back here the pump will be inside this little terribleness here will be gone and I'll have to put a drain in the bottom of the bowl to get back into the reservoir so let me do that and I'll come back to you
Okay, so here's version two, straight out of the glaze, firing. It looked like I had a crack, although I've already filled this with water. There are no leaks. The reservoir is sealed. So that's exciting. And here's the, the oil spot turned out great. Really happy with that. So the pump will go right up into here. It'll go something like that. Still, not, this bottle is too small. I don't know why I didn't make the bottle bigger. I was focused on getting a, a larger pouring spout. This does look like it's going to work a lot better, but I'm not convinced that I feel like it should almost be like a small carafe, perhaps way out here in the middle. And that's it. Okay, so I've taken it over to the sink. We'll try it out. And there you go. So what would I do differently next time? A couple things. Not only would I make the bottle bigger, but I'd want to make the bottle bigger this way. I think it would look better to have this match the rim height uh, or possibly even below. Uh, it would get the mouth closer to the top of the bowl. Uh, but one thing that you didn't see was that unless you took this tiny pump and cranked the water pressure all the way down, it it had it didn't have enough water sitting in here to kind of deal with the flow so the flow would splash and it would really come out <laughs> surprising surprising but I feel like if there was a taller amount of water sitting in the bottom here it would uh, disperse that flow I also thought about maybe putting a rock or something in there but nonetheless I think it would function better and look better to have this this bottle be bigger and this stand be lower the other thing I would do next time is and make sure I got in here and closed up these as best I could. Functionally it's fine, but it's unattractive. At the time, just getting them together, I, I, whether I didn't see it or I didn't have good access, I no excuse, but I certainly wasn't going to get the opportunity to pick it up later and flip it upside down. Uh, so, yeah, ugly, but, you know, That's it.